Hello everyone, this is Matt, and welcome to a Doom 2, well, just a Doom 1 shot, really. So, if you like your scene, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, you know, all that good stuff. So, this time around, I'm actually doing something a little bit special. Okay, so, Arachnocide, you know, Dr. Cousinbite, oh, one of his... I'm not sure if it was his first mob, but it's the one that I have the most memories of. Oh. So, Arachnocide is getting an update, and in the same forum post that this was announced, you know, the update, uh, Dr. Cousinbite actually linked my Revolution playthrough with Arachnocide's weapons, so that's pretty cool. That's a very nice gesture, and one that I didn't expect, but you know. Thank you for well, showing me off to the world, I guess. Well, anyway. So, and at update, it, well, the characters are all going to get custom sleeves, custom hands, the upgrade system will likely be improved, the guns will definitely be improved, and before we get into the game itself, there's just, there's something I want to discuss, and something that I also didn't show off in my Revolution playthrough, so if you come here in the help and info option here, well, you have, there, yeah, you have bios for all the characters, and the backstory, well, I'm not sure if people would rather have me read this, but if you want to read that, you can just pause and read it. So there's also lore for the spiders, which I'm actually playing with this mod, you know. I'm actually playing the mod kind of as is, as it was intended. And yeah, there is a bunch of, you know, most Doom mods don't even bother with you know, presentation and talking about their own lore and all that stuff, but yeah. Oh yeah, and you can see all, all the people who helped make Arachnocide a thing. Oh, there is a cat shout-out, shout out, so it's pretty cute. Okay, and before I proceed, you know, all these characters here, they all have their own little bios. And since I'm gonna be playing with one of the original characters, well, before all the other five were added. No, because, you know, back in 2017, it was just Blake and Derek. And I'm gonna be playing with Derek because, you know, I just happen to like his super shotgun the best. So, Derek Wolf, the Prodigy Soldier. Not so mysterious like Boss, but every bit as powerful, the new army division known as Monster Extermination and Tactical Acquisitions, aka Meta, needed the toughest bastards they could get their hands on. Derek was this bastard and much more. After leading many troops in the fuse and operations which highlighted his skills as a good strategist... Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a full stop. <laughs> Once he started in this insect killing business, Derek always thought some, sp some spider heads would be a neat decoration on his fireplace. As a good soldier, his arsenal is quite different if you look closely. He can vary from the bulky to the tactical in the blink of an eye. Just like his speed, his above average agility and calm temper makes it clear he'll run in circles around most spiders and keep precision when shooting. Yeah, that's a pretty neat little touch. Okay, so, uh, did, I don't think I even showed off the portraits for all the characters, so you know, that's Derek. This is Blake. Well, he looks kind of like Jack Black a little bit, at least to me. And I did show Marion off because, you no, know, I like him the best. Even though he actually has the worst accuracy of all the characters. I didn't even realize that before. Yeah, the characters have their little stats right here, so Blake's the fastest. He has medium firepower. He is above, has above average accuracy, but low health. And Blake has the most health. Well, average accuracy, above average firepower, and slow speed. And Marion has the worst accuracy of all of them. So, so that's Marion, that's Stella, she's the most accurate. Or Simon, he's a pretty good blend, I think. Oh, least firepower though. Yeah, he has the least firepower. And Mikhail, which has a bunch of cool Russian guns I should probably show off in another video. And look, yeah. It looks a little bit like Jean Claude Van Damme to me, but that's just me. I'm terrible with faces. Well, anyway, I think that's enough preamble. Oh, let's get right in on it. So, the difficulty levels, and when you are playing with the 
arachnicide monsters, they get replaced with, you know, uh, spider movie related names. And we also have this one, which I believe is a secret, well, quote unquote, secret difficulty level. Yeah, not gonna play that. I'm gonna play with eight legged freaks instead because, you know, for casuals, it has regular ultraviolence monster spawns with minus 50% well, hit points. They're, they do, you know, 50% less damage, and you get two, you, you get twice the ammo. So let's get right on it. So I'm gonna, uh, I, just, I don't think I even addressed this, but yeah, I'm playing with Hives of Madness, which is a little. Oh, it's a little set of maps made specifically for Arachnicide. And, well, here are all the spiders. And you can kind of see why I don't normally play with the monsters here. Like, not to this well, on Dr. Kuzlumad because he actually had to put all of this together and more. But these spiders are kind of annoying to fight. Yeah, they're annoying, to, they're, they're hard to shoot, they're fast. Like these guys here, which I think replace Lost Souls. Yeah, they are pretty vicious. Like, don't mess around with them. Okay, so okay, I can't open that. Need a blue key. Yeah, that could be signaled a little bit better, but well, no problem. The, these maps are fairly short, from what I know. Okay. Yeah, and have some scorpions shoe. Yeah, something you might notice is that arachnicides monsters, well, they're not... Well, they're not just... Eh, that's, a secret, that's not really a secret, but nice to see it. Well, they're not all just... Yeah, they're not all just spiders. And yeah, we have this drill. Big drill. Okay. So this is shells. Oh, those 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 don't look don't really look like shells to me. Oh, anyway, yeah, you're supposed to jump here. Okay. Uh, and here we have this weird flashy thing. I guess that's the entrance to the titular hive. Oh, whatever it is, I'm gonna be coming here. Okay, and here I'm going to be showing off just how effective fire actually is. And there's the super shotgun. Yeah, fire is very, very effective against the spiders and you, so do take care. Don't fire and launch the Molotov too close to you, or you're gonna burn yourself. And the spiders also turn into these little piles of ash when you kill them. With, well, when you kill them with fire, with fire, really. So, yeah, we can have another weird flashy hive thing here. Well, let me toss that in. Yeah, as you can see, they turn into little piles of ash. Oh, it's a Neat little detail, really. Okay. And time to show off that cool shotgun. So, these spiders here, they don't have any ranged attack, but they will try leaping at you and they do a bunch of poison damage. And they are also quite good at flanking you, so you shoot. Yeah, just keep your eyes peeled because they will find a way to jump on your back the moment you have a turn towards them. Okay. Yeah, one interesting thing about the monsters in that Arachnoside has is that their, a their AI is a little bit different. Yeah, they don't really tend to really... Well, they don't really tend to like go straight for you. Sometimes they're gonna wander around or do whatever. Okay, and what do we have here? Oh yeah, the wasps. Oh. 
they're actually friendly. I didn't know this until recently. Oh. Did they get it? I think they did. Yeah, so don't even bother shooting these guys, they're on your side. They just want to eat some spiders. Yeah, shame that they can't follow me back to this area. Come on. Come on, get out of the way, please. Uh, I don't want to do this. Okay. And we have a bunch of those speedy little lost little things here. Yeah, these certainly are not spiders. Okay, I think that's all the monsters. Yeah, I didn't even say it, but you need all six keys to exit this map, and I got in all of them, so just go through here. Yeah, I quite like the all the weapon choices here. Oh. Yeah, that's a smooth... Yeah, that's a pretty smooth lighting transition. Okay, so... No... Okay, so... These rather funny looking rubber boots. Okay, I guess this place here... Oh. Yeah, I guess this place here... Is irradiated or something. What's that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, what's the button all about, so... Oh, I see, it's a secret. What do we get all this? Oh, okay, we get the... Explosive weapon. Which I'm not gonna bother using just yet. Yeah, I like the design for... Or Derek's rifle shoe. It's this like it's a UMP forty five. Oh, okay. It's like a UMP forty five, but you know it feeds from a stun egg, and it's also side fed. Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade this one. I don't remember what it turns into. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Okay, and. Heavy pistol. Nice. Okay. Let me make my way over here. Yeah, maybe I should switch to this thing. Because, you know, it's more effective. You know, it hasn't really yacht you. Something opened. No, I think it's just this. Yeah. Okay, problem solved. Oh, then this looks like a secret. And it is. Okay. Let me get this, and we have a bunch of. Friendly giant wasps here too. Oh, is this? Oh, I see. Okay, I think whoever made the map accidentally tagged this separate secret. Oh, this separate sector as a secret when it kind of isn't. And I imagine that's the same for that oh, that sector up there that I can't even reach. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. I gotta get here. And through here. Yeah, and... Okay, now I think we're gonna enter the hive itself now. Okay. Okay, we got the thermal gun here. Oh. 
And I'm gonna use the other kind of thermal weapon to deal with this, though. Okay. There's a weird little arrow there. I wonder what that is all about. But yeah, it's just a shootable wall. What do we have here? Oh, we have a dog. Yeah, you just stay away from the doggo. Yeah, look at him. Look at this good boy. Okay. Uh, enough dog admiring. There are still some spiders to deal with. Oh, that's satisfying. Got all of them in one shot. Hey, hey, hey doggo, where are you going? That's a crusher. Get away, get away from the crusher. Follow me. Or not. Are you gonna follow me? Yeah, you will. Nice. Yeah, what's this all about? Are any of these shootable? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a pretty cool thing. Oh, I see a bunch of them coming this way. Just gonna let the fire deal with them for a bit. Okay, and there are still more. Okay. And I didn't even use the machine gun. Yeah, check this big. Yeah, check this. This bad boy out. Got that annoying jumping brown spider. Okay, and yeah, here we have this really well preserved little. Well, it's not really a house, I think, but yeah. Okay, bought both of those. Oh, stealth spider. I like the sound that this thing makes, it's, just, it's pretty cool. Okay, and what did that do? I'm not sure. Oh, Dalva is still here waiting for me. Nice. Yeah, get frozen. That's La Vista, baby. Okay, and... What do we have here? Oh! No, Doggo, there's fire there. Okay. Well, it says there is one secret here, but... Oh, I already got all the monsters, so... Doggo, come here, Doggo. Follow me. Come on, Doggo. Come on, Doggo. Come here. Come, come. Come up. Come on. Okay. So, now that we have the, our four-legged friend here, and I got all the monsters in the map and all that, I think it's time to, you know, just go ahead and end it, because it's just these three little maps. Oh, I did enjoy them, so let me just walk through here, and that's it. Yeah, it's pretty enjoyable. Well, it, well, it could be better seen old in certain parts, but nah, not gonna hold it against whoever made this because, you know, it's been a while. And it's pretty cool. You know, just the fact that this gameplay mod actually got its own short little set of maps to go with it is, well, very appreciated. Well, and, of course, it's, uh, it's also very appreciated that Dr. Cousin Byatt shouted me out like that, so. Well, 
thank you again. And let's just go ahead and end this one because I noticed it's no, oh, it's running a little bit longer, so a little bit longer than I would like. So this has a mat. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.